Hi everyone. So you've watched all of Fungineer's videos and you want to get riding on your board, but you're missing that last piece. And in this video, I just want to show you how to do the last step in the configuration specifically to the fun wheel with the cheap Fokker installed. And I assume you have done the motor configuration, hall sensor detection, everything was successful. If that's the case, you can now switch to the balance app and configure it and then get riding. So what you want to do is make sure this is not checked. You don't want keyboard control anymore. And you turn on the real time data and let's switch. So all three green buttons need to be checked from RT to IMU. And we switch the app to balance. Now, once that is switched, we will go to this balance app settings. And the first thing we have to do is configure our foot switches. This data down here, ADC1, ADC2, shows you the, the current reading of the um, ADC inputs. So, if you have done it with two foot sensors or four, you should have half of them going to ADC1. Like here, when I press on this one, you can see the value increase um, on the left. When I press on the other one, you see ADC2 going to two and a half. This goes all the way to three if I press harder. But um, yeah, this is just for demonstration. Now for you, it's important that you set up your um, switch voltages. So depending on your switch, you will see what the voltage ends up being when your foot is on the switch versus when it's off. And um, here it looks like, yeah, we easily reach three volts by pressing down with our hands. It turns out in practice with um, shoes on, depending on how, how my foot is on the board, I often only get barely above one volt. So I ended up setting my switch voltages to 0 0.8. But again, this is something you have to test for yourself, figure out what it is. By the way, this is uh, when you get to balance, you switch from tune to the fault tab here, and then you can configure the switch voltages right here. So once you are confident that your switches are configured correctly, then um, we need to configure the IMU. Very important step. The IMU needs to be calibrated. Um, and if you actually do a test right now and you press down on your foot switches, the motor should already turn. Um, but that, if that's what's happening, that's basically a sign that it detects that your board is not balanced and it's trying to compensate for it. What you want it to behave like is that when you press down, that your motor just sort of wiggles a little bit, but doesn't move in either direction because it detects that it's level and it's just basically staying level. So if it starts rotating when you're pressing on the buttons, it means it's not level or your IMU is not calibrated. So IMU calibration, you go here, you click on detect calibration and you start that here. Needless to say, you need to have your board in a safe place, level with the wheel, being able to spin freely without risking anything. Don't put it on your lap. And now when the calibration is finished, it only takes a few seconds. There was a green flash in the bottom right corner saying that it was done. You can now apply the results. However, when you apply the results, it, it does not know which way you have mounted your VESC in the board. So we have mounted it sideways, which means that the IMU rotation yaw needs to be 
So your yaw rotation needs to be at minus 90. Why minus? Um, here, in general, and then um, invert motor direction, you should select false. If you select true, then it would be plus 90. But what happens is in the app, your recorded speeds will end up negative. So what you really want to do is do false for invert motor direction and minus 90 for the uh, yaw rotation. And with that, you will be able to get positive speeds recorded and everything will behave as expected. So with that configured, you go back to the balance app, you should now get the wheel being more or less steady when you're flat on the ground. Um, it changes, it's very sensitive, so sometimes for me it, it changes a bit, but um, ideally you should always see it staying level and just sort of wiggling a bit like it is right now. Right? But tiny changes will result in the wheel starting to spin, so that's why you cannot do it just sitting on your lap. Okay, if you have that configured, you are now able to start testing it on the ground. Now I have everything connected over Bluetooth, so we can actually start doing this on the ground now. Okay, so for boards on the ground, I recommend you find something to hold on to um, for your first test, just to see that the board actually works and balances. But as you can see, now this board is already working and now there is some tuning you can do, but um, that I can cover in a different video. But I just wanted to get you to um, get on your board and start testing and tuning because that seems to be pretty difficult to do by just watching Mitch's IMU videos. They cover a lot of different boards. But yeah, this is basically what you need to do to get started and then some tuning from here on.